Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl here, Miss CC. This is like a pretty where you just know you pretty. I really enjoyed making this tutorial. I really enjoy recreating this look. And if you guys recreate this same look by the end of this video, please tag me on my handles. I would love to see exactly what you did. If you are interested in seeing what I did and what was done, what products I used in this video, stick around. You are in for a treat. Okay, so I did the eyebrows like I always do just to kill some time. So I done a look. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. I don't know where it's at. Um, I don't know if I didn't hit the record button. It was very, very nice, and I posted it on my Instagram. Go right here, Instagram, and look at that look. Okay, follow me if you're not following me anyway. So you know, shameless plug. But anyway. <laughs> So let's go into this eyeshadow routine first and then we'll do the face. Alright. We're gonna dip into the weekend festival palette from BH Cosmetics. And I think what I'm gonna do today is use this right here out of my Black Radiance contour palette. Really, really creamy beige shade here. Since it's very light, I'm gonna prime my eyes with this. See how nice that is? And I ain't gonna do that, but girl, I have those shadows really, really pop. Take that same product and go right underneath my eyeball. Now that we look crazy, we're gonna go ahead and blend it out with a dry. This is a mini um, Real Techniques Beauty Blender that I purchased, and they got little brushes that come with it too. You know, to match the colors and everything. I thought it was very neat, and I actually found it. <laughs> okay, talk. Found them in Target. You don't want to use a wet one because base there and you want it to actually stick onto your lid. You don't want to move it completely off. That's what I'm doing it by is dry. So going into the festival palette from BH, we want to take this orange shade, which is called Hippie. We're going to take the Morphe M167 brush. I'm going to pack that shade right into my crease area. And I'm going to actually do my shape. If you haven't checked out my, what is it, the purple glitter video that I've done, y'all, check it out. And as I'm stamping it, I'm kind of like pushing it up so it can blend out as well. Now I'm going to take that same shade and pat it right on the outer corner just to close that in. Mm -hmm. Let me point out, I don't know if she's a subscriber or not. Your last name is Kelly. If you have not already checked out that video that I did previous, and then you asked me to put all my tools and everything down below in the description box, girl, it is there. You pointed it out, and I got to give you props on that. That really, really touched my heart to know that someone actually wants to look at things like that in the description box. I will put everything I'm using in today's video in the description box as well. Now, taking my M506 brush, and I'm going to braise this other electric shade right here. They're like a little popsicle pink. That's cute. So what I'm gonna do is actually blend the outer part of that orange color just very, very lightly. I didn't knock my excess off of my brush because I did not apply any of my base on my face yet. So it's not gonna be as hard as if I would already had a application on. I'm just gonna actually just take my time, girl, and just blend, blend, blend. That is the thing about these shadows, especially when you're dealing with a lot of color. And if you feel like, girl, I just don't have that much time, go ahead and take your new fluffy brush. Very, very light-handed. Don't just like go in there and do No, just buff. Circular motions, those colors together, okay? See? The other product that's on that brush, but you barely touching it. That's how you blend it, girl. When you are barely touching, you're going to get the blend that you need because it's going to come on the brush. All right. You're going to get that blend, girl. Believe me. So now that we see that he uh, blended to Blendationville, we are going to cut the crease, pack some of the glitter shadows on top of that, to dig into that same palette that we was in, and let's cut the crease. This is an Amazon brush. I couldn't even tell you what kind of brush it is. This is the flat synthetic brush. You got to have enough of product on your brush in order to get that nice, fine cut. Now that we got it cut, take a pack of brushes. This is the same brush that I use to clean up my eyebrows with. The M421 from Morphe. We are going to go into this shade here, and it's called Spirit Tiny. Holding our eye down, we're going to look exactly in our mirror like this. We don't want to hold it up. So we're going to hold our mirror down, place the shade where we want it, which I want it in the inner corner, and to about right there. We're going to get a little fallout, but that's okay. Like I said, we didn't move in with our base on our face yet, so that's fine. 
and whatever product I have left after I swipe and push what I'm gonna do is just pat it up into that crease line up top in our crease area right in the middle and we did not wet our brush now we are good to go to open our eyes up okay <laughs> No, girl, you got all your breath doing that. So we're going to go back to that 167 brush that we used to place that orange in the very beginning. We're going to take some more of that orange, just pat into that, and then we are going to blend it in into that shade that we just put in there. We're just going to take it and just blend that other one in right up in there, right on the crease line. Girl, you know I don't like harshness at all. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. So now I'm going back to the M506. I'm going to tap it to them two pink shades very lightly. Knock the dust off this time. And I'm going to blend right up top where the crease area is. And since we are a little high up, I'm going to take it all the way down in the inner corner. Just like that. Very, very light handedly though because we still want that cut crease effect. But we don't want the harshness of the cut. So I'm going to take a flat eyeliner brush from Sonya Kashuk and I'm going to dig into this blue called Trans on the bottom lash line. This blue got a little shimmer in it and it is not as shimmery but ooh, this is intense. And that base helped too. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease on the other eye and do my bottom so we can jump into the face. Alright, be right back. I used a gel liner, I remember, it was by Maybelline. Blackest Black is the liner and it's by the Eye Studio that they have. So I'm just gonna go very closely to my lash line. Not even a wing, just a smaller line, so when I place my lashes on there, there'll be no gaps. And the brush I am using, I think this came with the Maybelline gel pot. Not for sure, if I can find the actual picture, I'll insert it here so you guys can see it. But I think that's what comes with it. If you guys ever go to Walmart or anywhere to sell kids products, even on their store online, y'all, their lashes are so bomb and affordable. I have wore these like four times already. The Lash Couture Naked Drama Collection in the Style Chiffon. I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope you guys see that bottle. These things are bomb y'all Ooh, just see when i put these things on how pretty they are how fluffy they are wispy oh would you look at those lashes girl no talking let's do now girl tell me that these lashes are not bomb probably dreams <laughs> let's wipe off all the fallout that we have being very careful on not to mess up that blue down there i went back to the duo for these my Broadway is that black, but it's a little thicker than this duo glue. And I didn't want like a thick layer of glue on top of my lash because I want to keep using them. And that's the key to some lashes. Even though they are nice and you can use them over time and over time and over time. But sometimes the band do get wore out. And may I point out that the band is thick, but it's not thick, thick like a Lily Lash, the four lash. No, you just got to keep that in mind when it comes to using your lashes over. If you guys have been watching me for a while, I am a cake face i love it i love to put on two foundations and if i can girl i put on three concealers i shall sure will what i'm using is the estee lauder resilience lift it is for firming and sculpting a face neck cream spf 15 i am going to spray myself with the mario badesco i have not spoke about this in a while skincare facial spray with aloe sage and orange blossom still use this daily regardless it does help the skin and make the skin feel very, very nourished. We're going to start with some skin to blur, primer. I am combination skin and when I get oily, I get oily. Like I do have my ups and bad days about this primer. Like around third time of the month, you know what I mean? I got all these like little pimples and stuff like this. It doesn't actually like blur them out. I know it's not going to move mountains, but girl, for $54? $54? Where you at, sis? You know, none of the less. She aight. <laughs> Next, we're going to move in with our Becca. This is the Evermatte Poreless Primer. I like to use this on my T-zone areas. But I just, that was so lightly pat and press in my skin. Foundation I'm going to be using is 390 by Fenty Beauty. I'm just going to put some here. Never mind that the foundation brush is a little dirty. Saya Cash Beauty Sponge. Recent favorites. And I know it's going to look a little funny on me when she puts the concealer and stuff on. Okay. 
using my Tarte Shape Tape. I haven't bought this out in a minute, and it only have a six months lifespan on it, so I gotta use it up, honey. So this is in the shade Tan Sand. Let's shake it, cause girl, she's been sitting in there for a little bit. Like to put it there. I don't want to put a lot, cause honey, a little bit does go a long way. She just need a little bit. And this has been sitting there for a while too. This is by Sephora. This is their Highlight Low Light Face Contour Duo. In the shade 10. As you can see, it does have a, like a highlighter shade. And it has the contour shade on that end. So I'm going to use the contour shade today. And it's not as dark. I love the shade of it though. As you can tell, it's a more of a soft contour. I don't want to go like overboard. And as you can see that I am using the angle parts of my sponge to actually blend this out. Flip it on the other side. Let's go ahead and blend out the highlight. Right here on my nose area. Please make sure you get those cracks. Honey, she needs love too. And whatever I have left on my sponge, take it right up under my contour. Voila! Gonna take the butt and blend it in because we want everything to look seamless, girl. Moving in with a setting powder, my black radiance. I mixed it up with my warm saffron by Derma Blend. So I'm gonna take that same side where I did my highlights, make sure that powder is on there pretty nice, pounce it on my hand to take away the excess, and set with whatever side you do not have any product on your sponge and just blend in just a little bit more. So we can get those creases out before we set. Because one thing about it, you do not want to set creases, okay? I don't care what your concealer says. If it says creaseless or whatever, please make sure you look at it before you set. I am now going to set the rest of my face with my Sephora Micro Smooth. And I just go by the number. It's 35. Grab you a couple. Really, really good. I like it. Flawless application. Since I want a little bit more brightness and I see that I'm very, very orangey and yellow up in that area, Natural Beige, take my powder puff, want to rub into there. Y'all know I hit pan on this, so you know it's got to be some good stuff, see? I'm just going to dig right up in this area right here. I know it's going to look a little gray, but trust me. So the bronzer I'm going to be using is by Becca. So this is what it looks like. Very, very nice. I like the bronzer. I take my E4 brush and tap into that. Ooh, how nice and warm. Contour just a little bit more. So I'm going to be using my Morphe Debutante. I'm going to use my M530 brush for Morphe. Light, fluffy, but very, very dense. Tap the excess all right in the depths of the cheekbone. I love to spray my face after I put all the powders and stuff on. Before I move on to the lips, highlight, or whatever. You know, let's spray. Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primal Waters. Prep, a set, and a refresh. Okay, for blush, I am actually feeling the Peachy Love now. Now that it's gotten summertime, the one in the middle and the one on the end. The one on the end got a little bit of sparkle to it, but not a lot. It's not like a metallic or frost or anything like that. So which is called Ginger, that's in the middle, and Miami is on the end right here. And Nectarine is on this end. So I'm just going to go with Ginger and Miami. So I'm just going to bloop, 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 go that way, tap it off, and flick it up. Oh, that's so pretty. A little nose snatcher. So she looks a little bland. I'm going to dip back into that Becca. Knock my excess off. Take it up to my brow bone area. Bring it down. Like, I don't have anything against my nose. My nose is pretty. It looks like a little lion. Simba. And this is something I learned from Savannah. Where she curves out the nostrils because she said, if you don't want your nose to look sunken in, bring your nostrils back out. And it's so true. Highlight. Let me just apply that same place. See? Cute, huh? A little bit up here on the brow bone area. Just give a little sparkle up here by my temple. Whatever I had left on my brush, I just sweeped it across. A little bit here. And may I say that the Estee Lauder does have a good scent to the highlight. It smells good. Alrighty, now it's time for that inner corner tear duct. What I'm going to do is dip into this shade right here. It's called Candy. Put some of that on my Morphe. No, this is a Sigma brush. I'm sorry. Sigma E30. Pop it right in the inner corner. 
And I'm going to take some more of this spirit just on the tip of that brush. Dot it right there in the center of that corner. Just to give it a little bit more life. A little bit open, you know. So let's finish out the bottom portion of the eyes. So I'm going to take my Sigma E36 brush. What I'm going to do is dip into like a teal shade but very powdery. It's called Palooza. I'm dipping that, knock my excess off. And then I'm actually going to blend right at the bottom of that blue. Cute. Now for my bottom waterline, I'm going to be using a white eyeliner pencil. I'm going to outline my lip with a lip liner from NYX. This is their lip liner crayon shade espresso. I'm going to apply the, uh, wait a minute, I got too much going on. So I'm going to apply the Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the Maybelline Color Sensational. Let's see what shade. Pink Charge. I really like it. They matte as hell though. I ain't even going to lie. So if you don't like things very matte, you may need to exfoliate your lips a little bit before you apply. So I'm not going to apply a lot. They have like a little scent to them as well. And it's not like a bad scent. But when you apply it to your lips. This is the Dose of Colors, my favorite. I love me some Dose of Color lip glosses. So Dose of Colors, if you decide to watch this video, please send me some. This is in the shade on repeat. I know it, y'all. Y'all probably gonna get sick of time of using this shade, but girl, I love it. It's bomb. All right, so lastly, we got to spray one more time. Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Now we at the end, we already sprayed our face. Let's go ahead and apply our mascara. We're going to be using the Shayla Times Maybelline De Colossal Big Shop they did together. The top and the bottom lashes. And alright y'all, this is it. Earrings, top, everything is from Route 21. The bangles, I actually got this bangle from the beauty supply store. I like a little bangle, but I put it on top of my hair. Y'all know I like little things that go on my braids. I'm a braid girl, and then the things that I see that can go for my arms, you know, I try to make it up for my hair girl. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please make sure you leave me that big old thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed by now, what are you waiting on? Just hit that little subscribe button right there, girl, my little beautiful face. And meanwhile, you can check out my little latest videos that I've done. And check out my playlist if you guys are interested in other videos that I have done in the past. Or leave your comments down below and let me know what you want to see next. And girl, I got you. I am here to please you, okay? And until next time, y'all, love you and thank you so much for watching. Bye.